carbon bike for commuting, concerns about durability. I have been riding an aluminium frame hybrid bike for 20 plus years and it is coming to the end of its life. Having tested a couple of carbon hybrid bikes and been very impressed with the responsiveness of the ride I'm considering taking the plunge, something like a Canyon Road Light or Trek FX tick most of the boxes. It will be used primarily on my short, 5-mile, but hilly commute, as well as longer weekend rides. I've read several posts that discuss the fatigue and impact resistance of carbon frames versus aluminium versus steel, and I have a couple of specific concerns that I haven't found addressed in detail elsewhere. I am concerned about possible damage caused by securing a carbon frame with a D-lock equals equals U-lock. I store a pair of D-locks at my workplace where we have semi-vertical bike racks. I will not be mounting the locks on the frame. However, it was suggested both by a mechanic in my pounds and Canyon's online chat assistant not to let the lock rest on the frame. This is surprising. Each lock is insulated with thick plastic and weighs perhaps 1.5 kilos. I thread one lock through the front wheel and let it rest on the down tube, and use the other one to secure the back wheel to the stand. I wouldn't expect a carbon frame to have any trouble bearing a small load such as this, as long as there is no forceful impact when locking, unlocking, or of course from accidental damage from others removing the bikes. From what I've read it takes a major impact such as a crash or forceful hits with a hammer to cause impact damage. I've read a few posts suggesting carbon bikes are less suitable for commuting for several reasons, harder to fit racks and mount locks, more alluring to thieves, bit also due to the weather conditions they will face. As I'm based in the UK there will be no shortage of rain and roughly half my commute is on roads. Road salt is known to corrode aluminium over a long time, but are there similar concerns with carbon, or is it just people being more protective of carbon bikes because they're more expensive? Thank you. TL, DNR, all else equal, an aluminum framed bike at the same price as a carbon bike will be a better bike. My general feeling for carbon frames are they are overrated, or more accurately, quality modern aluminum frames is underrated. Aluminum frames cost a lot less to build than the cheapest carbon, let alone a quality carbon frame. With hydro forming, the designer has a lot not all, of the design flexibly of carbon, and a lot more than the days they build frames from tubes. Savings building the frame can be spent on components, making a better bike at the same price point. Obviously at the money is not issue end of the market, carbon makes a better frame for riding, but care must be taken because at this end Fauté market carbon layup is done in a way to maximize performance weight, with less concern to robustness. As far as robustness and longevity, a quality, but not race focused, carbon frame will be more than robust enough. Using the N rule, you really should have two bikes, which will probably be more cost effective longer term. One for commuting which is cheapish, it's only 5 miles, a few hundred grams weight saving won't make any difference to you commute times or effort even if it is a bit hilly, and robust. Then have a weaned bike for longer rides that you keep the miles down. After a year, the weekend bike is still in great condition rather than having been used in all weather and banged around in the work bike racks by other riders.